So let's talk about my new album, River. Work began on this album probably about like six years ago. Um, I was still in the midst of promoting my last album, A Wonderful Love, Love and Faith Volume 2. And I was already beginning to think about my next project. And that's kind of what we artists tend to do. We are already thinking about what's up ahead before we get there. And so um, I wanted to kind of put together some ideas, some demos down as to um, get some fresh ideas for the next project, right? So I'm thinking I'm probably going to do A Love and Faith Volume 3. So I'm kind of working out ideas that are kind of in a similar vein to what I had done on my last album. And I was finding myself hitting a brick wall creatively. Like nothing wasn't working. I was putting together music. I just wasn't feeling it, trying to write lyrics. Nothing was coming together. And so I said, okay, after maybe two, three months, maybe four months of writer's block, and producer's block, if that's a term, um, I realized I have to take a different approach. So it was at that point I decided to simplify how I would go about putting together music. Um, being a musician, you tend to you know, want to play a lot of different chords and different chord changes and stuff like that. And I said, you know, take a, take a, 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 a more simpler approach where you just maybe work with a few minor elements and then test your production ability and build around them. The moment I did that, I'm telling you, it was like floodgates open up and I started getting all these ideas for new songs, like with tracks that were different than anything I had done before. So of course I'm excited. Now I'm getting ideas of what I want to write about. And the topic wasn't so much about the love and faith stuff like I had done on my two previous albums. It was more about love. And I said, okay, well then maybe now is the time for me to do an R&B soul album proper and just focus strictly on doing an album about love, right? Because that's where I come from. R&B soul is the foundation for me. So I started writing songs that dealt with just love. But I wanted to tell different stories about it. Like I, I love painting um, vivid pictures in my lyrics and showing different angles of how something works. And so with love, you know, you can go from so many different angles, you know, like we got Against the Wall, which is like a precautionary tale, club love, I don't recommend it. <laughs> you got, uh, in the meantime, someone who, who loves love, believes in love, but has been let down so many times, they're starting to doubt if they'll ever find that special love. Girl with the Broken Wing features my good friend, Tony Lanise, which talks about a girl that's so perfect, so, so like yourself that it's almost like she's from another world. She's gotta be an angel that's, that's fallen from heaven. So again, as you see, we take a lot of different twists and turns, just like in life and love, on this album. So you may be asking, why did I call it River? Well, yes, there is a song called River that's on the album, but that wasn't necessarily why I decided to call it River initially. I was thinking about what would be the theme and concept for the album, right? And so, as I began to kind of mill around in my mind what uh, the theme would be for this album, I said, okay, we know we got love, we got romance, yeah, that's cool. I got some great songs to tell us some great stories about love and different dynamics, different angles. River happened to come on driving in my car one night and I'm thinking like, man, you know, love is kind of like a river because, you know, like a river, love can be wild, it can be free, it can be wide, it can be deep, it can be calm, it can be, you know, rough, but it's always flowing, you know, like the river's always, it's always flowing. And I'm like, yeah, like love, love is always flowing, it's always in motion, always moving. And that's how I came to the tagline. Love is like a river. So therefore, that's why we call this album River. I can't see the 